I'm Picassoed out, deep divers. I woke up like this, all colorful and everything, because it's time to bring some color back into the world, some vibrance, some luminance, some good ass energy. Do you agree? Because the world could use more of that, because so much is happening around the world, and all we need is love, deep divers, okay? And of course, the good ass prana, let's go. Woo! Breathing in that good ass prana, baby. Raising the frequency, raising the vibration. Take that, take that. Just take all of it, deep divers. The good ass energy I'm sending you. Peace. Infinite waters diving deep once again. Beautiful deep divers. We are out here in the heart of nature, baby. Another gorgeous day. I hope. You are taking care of yourself, deep divers. I hope you're doing a little samba, baby. I hope you're finding a reason to go after your dreams because they can manifest. Now I'm FaceTiming you right now, deep divers. I woke up saying this, the war is over and you won, you won. The light has come in and you're in the new world now. Say it with confidence. I'm in the new world now. I literally screamed outside of my window. People thought I was crazy. And I am in a good way because I'm waking up, right? <laughs> Very powerful mantra and affirmation. Go and watch my video on mantras, okay? Let me repeat it one more time. The war is over and you won. You won. The light has come in and you're in the new world now, say it with confidence. I'm in the new world now. When you say that, because there is power in the word, words have power. It automatically shifts you to a higher frequency, to a higher frequency and vibration. So with so much going on in the world, remind yourself that you can speak what you want into existence and create your own unique reality. That's what I'm doing. That's why I tell you, there is no doomsday for me. There is no end for me. There is only a new beginning. And I'm already in the new world, the fifth dimension, and it's beautiful. It's already getting bigger. We've got a whole lot to talk about, but people don't see it. And we ain't even had breakfast yet. Can I get a hello there? So I want you to remind yourself, deep divers, what seems like the end is nothing more than a new beginning in disguise. So the last few years have been an eye opener for a lot of people. It kind of reminded people of 1984, right? Deep divers. Orwell, fantastic book, said... The past was forgotten. He said, the past was erased. The erasure was forgotten and the lie became the truth. He also said, ignorance is strength. War is peace. Freedom is slavery. He also said, if you want a vision of the future, imagine a boot stamping on a human face forever. And it seemed like 1984 over the last few years, lockdown, pandemics, freedoms being taken away. But the good news, in the words of Ralph Smart, is that many people are now letting love guide them and not fear. And it's getting bigger every single day because more and more people are having an awakening. You see, one of the greatest catalysts for an awakening is suffering, pain, trauma, the dark night of the soul, and humanity has experienced the dark night of the soul. It's still happening, but in turn, it's led to many people going within and awakening. And this is getting bigger every single day. A lot of people can't see it though, that even people who are fast asleep, are now starting to become devout skeptics and ask questions to say, why is the world like this? 
Why is the media controlling the way we think? Why are there so many new outbreaks and now monkeypox? And why is this war with Russia and Ukraine still going on? People are starting to ask questions, right? And that's the good news. So it's already getting bigger. I got a download, a message I want to share with you. It's already getting bigger, but people can't see it. So I'm, I've been here for a little while, a little while, deep divers. I was on YouTube when YouTube was not really a big thing, but it was really a place of consciousness. A lot of people were sharing great videos on YouTube to help awaken people. You had documentaries like Zeitgeist and around 2012, a lot of great information came from YouTube. But as time went on and where we are right now, there has been huge censorship, right? Huge censorship on YouTube, but on Google, because Google owns YouTube, on the whole internet. Like there are things you cannot say, they might call it medical misinformation. In fact, one of my videos were removed. And what we've started to see is that a lot of conscious YouTubers have vanished. Like, where did you go? <laughs> I'm still here, deep divers, because I'm a mortal, right? But a lot of people have vanished. A lot of people have been removed. A lot of people have been banned because they were speaking the truth. And it's because of the times we're living in. I told you, we're living in a world so fake, the truth actually scares people. Mm. Slow motion this side. Mm. And this is the reason why they're literally purging the internet of the truth because they realize this is the time for the great awakening. And therefore they're doing their best to hide the truth. But the truth is three things that can never be hidden, the sun, the moon, and the truth. And the truth is coming out more and more. And what happens when you try and hide the truth? It backfires. Now people go after it even more. Their hunger grows even more. And what you're seeing is getting bigger, but people don't see it, is the resistance is getting stronger. Devout skeptics all over the place. People are now questioning the official narrative about everything, about COVID, about monkeypox, about Russia and Ukraine, about, <laughs> you know, Johnny Depp just won. But people are like, hey, why are you showing me this? It's getting bigger, but people don't see it. The distractions are getting bigger. Bread and circuses are getting bigger. That's how they controlled people in ancient Rome. Juvenal, the poet said, to control the masses, you need bread and circuses. Are you not entertained? Have you noticed that all of these distractions are getting bigger? Why? Because something else is happening behind the curtain. And the good news is that many people can now see through the Maya. Many people can now see through this matrix and it's getting bigger. As I'm speaking, many people are leaving and detaching from the system and they are creating their own economy. They are growing their own fruits and vegetables. Seven day vegan challenge It's getting bigger. In fact, more plant-based foods are in supermarkets all around the world than ever because people are now taking their health seriously. They're now saying, actually, I want to start to eat to live. It's getting bigger, but people don't see it. The split is getting bigger between 3D and 5D. I told you, not everyone's going to make it. People have already made up their minds. A lot of people have accepted the mark. I'm talking about the mark of the beast not just what they were talking about in Revelation 13, 16 to 17. And he causeth all, and he causeth all, both rich and poor, free and slave, small and great to receive a mark on their right hand and on their forehead and that no man may buy or sell unless he has the mark or the name of the beast or the number of his name. Many people have already accepted the mark, the QR code, the microchip, because they've already made up their minds. On the other side of the spectrum, many people have refused it and said, actually, I do not 
want to participate in that new world order because I'm in a new world where freedom reigns supreme. So like I told you, it's getting bigger, but people don't see it. People are dividing. The great divide is becoming even bigger. And it's a division of people standing in their freedoms and their power, protecting their freedom of speech, and people who are fast asleep under the hypnosis and the dream spell. And this is the reason why it's like night and day. You're going to be able to know who's awake and who's not. Mm. Slow motion this side. Mm. It's getting bigger, but people don't see. People don't see it. You see, many people are now moving back to their heart space. Humanity's ego is what has gotten humanity to where it is right now. And many people are saying, actually, I have to heal myself. And it's getting bigger. Many people are doing meditations. Many people are listening to 432 Hertz, purifying themselves, because as we do that, we purify the world. I told you in 2012, there was a big consciousness revolution. Even in 2015, all of my videos were going viral. 4 million, 5 million, 6 million. But they started to realize too many people are waking up. Let's change the algorithm. What is an algorithm? An agent in disguise. So they've been trying to suppress the truth for a long time. But I told you, you cannot suppress the truth. Just like you can't throw rocks at the sun. It's just too big and too bright and too powerful. That's what the truth is. It's getting bigger, but people don't see it. The distractions are getting bigger. The narcissism, narcissistic personalities is growing because they had to entertain you. They had to occupy your mind with something to take you away from the real truth, which is your true authenticity. And that's the good news. Many people are now starting to say, wait a minute, let me focus on myself. Let me not focus on the doom and gloom because whatever you consume consumes you and whatever you focus on grows. They have had you focusing on bad energy. And this is what they want for you to create. But many people are getting smarter to say, actually, let me focus on beautiful souls. Let me focus on the world I wish to live in because by my focus, I can create that existence. And that's why I said in the beginning, I'm in the new world now. Mm. Slow motion this side. Mm. It's getting bigger, but people don't see it. Kings, conscious kings and conscious queens are coming together. The gender divide is no more when you are at a certain level of consciousness. Men and women, they have put you against each other to divide you. We are not each other's enemies. We are not each other's enemies. We are on the same team. And what I'm seeing, conscious kings and conscious queens are coming together to create the new world. They are honoring each other because they now realize that we are all we have. We are all we have, deep divers. It's getting bigger, but people don't see it. Many people are letting go of fear. And that's the reason why you don't really hear of COVID a lot anymore. Because people aren't afraid. They had to change it. Let's go with Russia and Ukraine. Let's go with Johnny Depp. Let's go with this and let's go with that. Because people are no longer afraid of the boogeyman. Because they are embracing the love frequency because they know love is the only thing that can set us free. So there are so many great things happening. But like I told you, this is your opportunity to choose which world you want to live in. Do you want to live in the world where love reigns supreme? Or do you want to live in a world where you have no freedoms? It's getting bigger, but people don't even see it. That they, Agenda 2030, they just had the Davos conference, right? 
They want to record your dreams. They want a world where you have no freedoms, where you have no privacy, where everything is recorded, tracked and traced. And that's already growing because you are willingly handing over your information. You don't even realize everything you're sharing online, your pictures, your selfies, is being stored in the database. So you, they don't even have to ask you, you are willingly handing over all of your data. And you don't even realize that's your new prison. So remind yourself, keep some things for yourself. Spend time in nature, not just on the phone. Because your phone, my iPhone, your phone is a great tool, but it's a dangerous master. Mm. Slow motion this side. Mm. And it was designed to track your every single movement. And it's getting bigger, but people don't see it. A lot of people are already fusing with the technology. Moving into the metaverse, becoming the android. And this is the reason why a lot of people are now reclaiming their humanity over the artificial insanity. And then just saying, feels so good to be alive, baby. Can I get a hello? Hey. Beautiful deep divers. I'm just, woo, breathing in that good ass prana, baby. Raising the frequency. Oh, it's beautiful. Go and get the good ass prana shirts, deep divers. But first, go and get the book, the new book for more inspiring information. Feel Alive by Ralph Smart on Amazon and at ralphsmart.com slash the book for more inspiring information that will help you become your greatest version. And you like the Picasso? Go and get the good ass Prana shirts for more inspiring clothing. <laughs> at ralphsmart.com slash clothes and spreadshirt.com if you're in America. And if you are a sexy ass model, woo, with a whole lot of heart who wants to model the clothing, well, go and buy some. They tried to bury us deep divers. They forgot we were seeds. I love all of you. Peace. Infinite waters diving deep once again. Stay well, stay healthy. Peace. You hit that like button, deep divers, share the video. Leave a comment down below of love and appreciation and let me know how this video, this video inspired you. One love, peace.